Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Susie Evans and Clayton Eckard discuss their false paternity lawsuit. Bachelor Clayton Eckard considered the loss of his romance with Susie Evans to be the lowest point in his life. Last year, however, he was erroneously identified in a paternity complaint. He told Susie Evans about how it nearly ruined his life. In September 2023, it was revealed that Clayton Eckard was the subject of a paternity lawsuit in which he was accused of fathering twins. The Bachelor star instantly disputed the allegations, claiming that the lawsuit was prompted by the woman's unanswered threats to go public if he did not pursue a relationship with her. Clayton and the woman battled in court for over a year. The paternity lawsuit was dismissed in June of this year. The judge ruled that the woman made up the entire narrative and was never actually pregnant. Clayton Eckhart and Susie Evans had split up a year or more prior to the paternity allegations. She was one of the only Bachelor Nation stars to quickly show her support for Clayton. Despite the fact that their romantic connection ended, the two remained excellent friends. He appeared as a guest on Susie's new podcast this week. They recounted the adultery incident that nearly ended their love. The former couple also discussed the bogus paternity lawsuit. Susie stated that she was so angry on Clayton's behalf and immediately believed him when he declared the woman's charges were false. Clayton Eckard discussed how the legal battle impacted his mental health. I suffered from severe anxiety. I lay in bed for days, staring at the ceiling. Fortunately, I had a great talk with my father one day. He said, you're not going to do anything and can't control this. So choose to react as best you can, which is to simply carry on with your life. So I started doing it. I started getting out of bed and going back to work, thinking, I'll simply deal with it. He revealed that the woman who filed the complaint stopped him in an attempt to serve him with court documents. I traveled to Miami to visit my cousin. When she discovers I'm in Miami, what does she try to do? Deliver the parenting plan to two women's addresses. One of the girls and I were not dating, but we were thinking about it. And the second one was Jessica from Zach's season, because someone asked me on a podcast who I would be interested in from Zach's season, and I said her. She seemed kind. Neither of the papers were successfully served, but she continued to try to serve me papers. Susie Evans called it wild that this woman was purportedly a skilled scammer who had duped other guys with identical claims. Clayton Eckard stated that the event had taught him a lot about himself. I will never again allow someone tell me how much I am worth. I know what I'm worth. Not finished yet Chris Harrison, ex-host of The Bachelor, is living low-key with his kids and fiancé but is plotting his next move and not retiring. According to a source close to the star, the former Bachelor host, who left the franchise earlier this year, is enjoying a low-key lifestyle in Texas while planning his next move. According to a source, the 50-year-old celebrity is doing exceptionally well. He's having a great time with his children and strengthening his bond with Lauren, Zima. He leads a low-key life in Texas when he's not on travels or going on vacation. He's relishing in these moments of not working and enjoying time for himself and his family, the insider added. He turned 50 this month and just celebrated his anniversary with Lauren. He sees this as almost a new chapter in his life and is considering his next best move. Chris has two children, Joshua, 19, and Taylor, 17, with his ex-wife Gwen Harrison, whom he divorced in 2012. He's been dating Lauren since 2018. While he's spending time with his family, the insider revealed that Chris isn't done yet. He's for sure going to make a comeback in the near future and will announce his return to TV once everything is set in stone, a source told me. They said, he's not ready to retire just yet. Chris stepped down from presenting The Bachelor franchise in February after receiving criticism for supporting contestant Rachel Kirk Connell's previous racially offensive actions. Several months later, he quit the business entirely after agreeing to a large settlement with ABC. So far, he has not been replaced, but previous Bachelorettes Tasia Adams and Caitlin Bristol have hosted the most current Bachelorette season alongside Katie Thurston. 
Despite everything that has happened, the insider stated that Chris holds no grudges or is unhappy about the situation. He still keeps in touch with some crew and former Bachelor and Bachelorette cast members, a source informed me. Everyone who was close to him on the show really misses him and wishes he was still part of the show. They also claimed that, while Chris no longer watches the shows, he remains up to speed and reads all of the social media messages of support. Although he's no longer the host, he still enjoys Bachelor Nation and isn't one to carry grudges, especially, with, the fans, after what happened. He truly misses them. He isn't watching Paradise, but he sees stories and is tagged and tweeted at on social media. A Bachelor fan tweets, at TasteMiddy5, do you believe it Chris Barrison misses us as much as we miss him? Hashtag the Bachelorette. Chris answered, I truly do. Bachelor fans were stunned earlier this year when it was announced that former longtime host Chris, 49, would be replaced by Tasia Adams, 30, and Caitlin Bristow, 35, following outcry for his racist comments. Georgia contestant Rachel Kirk Connell was found to have attended an antebellum plantation-themed party in 2018. Following the resurfaced photographs, Chris defended her in an extra interview with former bachelorette Rachel Lindsay. Tasia Adams and Caitlin Bristow surprised Katie Thurston as the new bachelorette hosts at the season premiere. Caitlin informed us weekly about returning for Michelle Young's upcoming season 18, I mean, we had so much fun. Tasia went further, so much fun and if the opportunity presented itself, we would be there. Oh my gosh, A-H-H, Katie shouted, adding, wow, you're going to make me cry. I'm so glad you're here. The gal pals then raved that the brunette beauty looked stunning in her red sequin floor-length gown, calling her a desert rose. We are here to help and support you. You don't have to do this by yourself, the girls informed Katie. Harrison announced his departure from The Bachelorette after the new season premiered. He announced his permanent retirement on social media on June 8, 2021, writing, I've had a truly incredible run as host of The Bachelor franchise, and now I'm excited to begin a new chapter. I'm extremely grateful to Bachelor Nation for all of the experiences we've created together. While my two-decade journey is wrapping up, the friendships I've made will last a lifetime. He apparently leaves the show with an eight-figure payout. At the time of the affair, Harrison stated that he was prepared to work hard to regain Bachelor Nation's trust. I know that change is felt, not just by me, but by many others. And we are excited and willing to do the work to show that progress. This interview is not the finish line. There is much more work to be done. And I am excited to be a part of that change. Bachelor Nation fans first met Joan Bassos on season one of The Golden Bachelor, and now she's kicked off her own journey to find love on the very first season of The Golden Bachelorette.